Welcome back guys, it is craft time. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, we are going to be doing a custom order or a custom fix, I guess. Um, I had one of my lovely um, customers come and drop off a sign to me that she's had for a long time and the original like florals and decorations on them have since fallen off. But it is one of those signs that has the magnet where you can um, interchange things throughout the year. So she wants to see if I can fix it and update it for her so she can continue to use it. So I'm going to jump right in and make that happen for her. So I'm going to start by getting rid of the glue from the previous whatever was on here. I'm just gonna take this window scraper and or glass scraper and scrape that off. This is just coming off pretty good. It's just kind of flaking away and I'm just gonna remove all of it. Um, you could also sand it or it could get messy but you could heat it up if you needed to, maybe soften it a little bit with a heat gun to help remove it as well. I'm gonna be covering this back over, so I'm gonna be careful not to damage the wood, but also um, make sure that I get most of it off so you're not gonna see anything or that I can make everything lay flat. Um, but if it doesn't all come off or it's a little discolored or anything, I'm not too stressed about that. After I get that off of there, I'm just gonna wipe it down and clean it up. And then we're going to start in on making some interchangeables. Now she did not ask me to do this. She still has all of her others, but I just wanna show you that if this is a type of sign that you're interested in, you can make your own version. You just find yourself um, a wood round or whatever you want um, your sign shape to be. Then you can either use a magnet, you can glue it on, you can even like, you know, drill a hole and inset it and glue it in, or you could use Velcro. You could get a good um, strip of Velcro and staple that onto the wood and then put the other piece of Velcro on the back of whatever you're using and make your own interchangeable sign. So there are options for you and I'm gonna show you how I just came up with these quick interchangeable little, um, like, I don't know, <laughs> hearts and I don't know what to call these, little interchangeable signs, I guess just off of stuff that I have on hand. A lot of them are Dollar Tree. So like this little heart, this was a bigger one from a heart set, that, like the little wooden ones that I bought from Dollar Tree last year. All I did was take some scissors and a razor blade and cut the wood part off that I didn't need. It's too big as is and I just needed to size it down to where it would fit on the sign. So I just cut it away and if you didn't know, scissors work really well on these and if you need like a good, um, like an angle you can't really get in there with the scissors, they sell, Dollar Tree sells these little, their little cutting mats and you can get um, an X-Acto knife and just kind of shave it away as well. So I cut down a heart. Um, I did the same thing with one of the Dollar Tree little wooden pumpkins. Um, I, it's like those, you know, that like basswood type material. So it's really soft wood and you can just trace out where you want it to be and then I just took scissors and cut it down as far as I could and then whenever those harder angles came into play I just pulled out my razor blade and I cut it down and then I used a sanding block to get away any of those rough edges and splinters that might be around and voila two of them right off the top. Um, I also have this little birdhouse on hand that I'm going to make over for this sign. I have one of the little rabbits leftover from last year from Easter at the Dollar Tree and then also a gingerbread house that I never did anything with. So I'm going to attempt to get the door off of that to use as an interchangeable as well. So for that all I'm going to do is take that same window scraper and very carefully and very slowly edge it up underneath each of the sides of that door and then slowly pop it off of the wood. Now this is very fragile and but I couldn't get that blade all the way under so I did use my metal ruler and it is a bit thicker so it did pop one of the sides so all I did was glue that back together. I'm using my Starbond glue in this video. Um, if you don't know it is basically a super glue with an accelerant spray. So you put your glue on one side, you spray the opposite side when they meet together. It forms an instant bond within seconds um, and within a 10 to 12 second hold under some pressure you have a bond that is going to be there forever. So it's pretty awesome. It takes away any of that quick dry time that you're, you know, we're all just sitting here 
watching the paint dry basically um, while we're waiting on that glue and I don't have the time for it. I used to do the mixture of the hot glue with some E6000. I also didn't have the patience for that because sometimes the hot glue would dry a little faster and mound up and it wouldn't be flat and I wouldn't get a good seal. So I went straight to the straight to the top dog and he is now in my affiliate links. Um, so just through Amazon and I love it. It is a bit expensive, but I've been using this for probably six months now, maybe longer. Um, and I'm still on the same bottle. I'll show you right now. And I have done countless projects, countless projects. So maybe a fourth of the bottle, so many projects. Um, the spray is still pretty full as well. So I think it's definitely worth the money. Um, but that's my quick little plug on that because this glue, it just, I don't have extra time and it makes that instant and I can just move on to the next thing and I just truly appreciate it. So let's move forward. All right, so we popped the door off. Um, I used that glue, I glued it down, I sprayed it, held it together and now the little door is all put together and I'm just going to paint all of these up. I'm just gonna use some chalk paint in whatever colors, pick my little item that I'm using and paint them up. Once all of that paint is dry, I am sealing everything with some polycrylic. I'm just gonna make sure I get all the edges and the back. If this was exposed to outside, I want it to, um, polycrylic is not waterproof, but it will help be water resistance. So I'm just gonna paint the all of the cracks and crevices, including the back, so that if it does get wet on the back too, it just protects it. And then from there, I'm going to be gluing magnets onto the back. Um, I just happen to have this magnet laying around, you guys. No, I like to just recycle things, um, try not to have too much waste. So if I can reuse it in another project, I'm going to. So I happen to have this magnet laying around, cutting it down to size and then gluing it with my Starbond glue. Like I said, I'm putting glue on one side, spraying the other. For me, you know, some of these, like this has a lot of holes. Um, so where the magnet goes is important. It's really small on this one, but to make sure it sits right on the side or on the sign to where it's like the right height and everything and spaced evenly, what I was doing is putting the magnet onto the sign, putting the glue on top of the magnet, spraying this and then laying this down on top of it. Um, that was helping me make sure that the little, I don't know what to call these, interchangeables, I guess, um, the little interchangeables were sitting where they needed to be on the sign, knowing that the magnet was in the right place. So again, I just put the magnet that's going down on the interchangeable directly on the sign after I've cut it to size, put the glue on top of the magnet and then spray with my accelerator on the interchangeable and then push it down to connect it and that makes sure that it is in place and it's going to look right whenever it gets magnetized back onto the sign. So I just did that with each one of these. And the best thing is, is like, I literally just used this from my craft stash. I just went through and saw, okay, what can I use? And I found five different things. So you could do this with so many different themes. Like you can go to the Dollar Tree and just find some of their little wood cutouts and stuff, get a magnet um, and make yourself an interchangeable sign. Like I said, you could also use Velcro. Um, so that's pretty awesome. I will say the birdhouse, it is thicker. Originally, I wanted to cut it down in half and just use the top half like that. That would be really cute, right? But I didn't want to get all of my like tools and saws and things out just for that one little cut. So I did the whole thing, um, but it's too heavy. So it does slide down a bit um, for the end, like the picture. I just put a piece of tape on the back and that held it in place just fine. But to fix it, all I'm going to do is go get a stronger magnet. Um, or I could fix it by actually doing what I wanted to do and cut that down and make it smaller. It's just pretty heavy. So compared to these, like, that's the difference. Um, so yeah, you just want to be cautious of like how heavy this is because this does just kind of slide off. But I'm going to fix that for her. No big deal. Um, and so yeah, like I said, she didn't ask for those. But I just wanted to show you guys the different options that are out there because... These interchangeable signs I know can be really popular if you don't have a lot of storage space or anything then you can just have one sign switch it out to update it with the seasons and stuff so um yeah after that I started working on the part she actually came to me for and that is fixing the top with this one to keep it neutral so that when she does change it out throughout the year um, it can go with pretty much any of the interchangeables that she has 
So I'm just going to stick with some greenery, some little white like baby's breath type flowers and some neutral bows. I'm just going to come in with some lamb's ear and I'm just going to, I always do a dry run, lay it all out how I want it to go. And then I want to make sure that this is going to stay for her until she wants it to come off. To do that, I'm going to use my staple gun. When she's ready, she can just pull it out and pop those staples out with a, um, with a flathead screwdriver and then put her next thing on. So this is going to make sure it lasts for however long she wants without having that hot glue kind of melt away. So I'm just going to lay everything out how I want it, um, stack my flowers and everything, and then one by one, I'm going to staple them into place. And then I am going to take my hammer and hammer down the staple to make sure it's nice and tight and those stems aren't just going to fall out. I'm going to keep repeating this process and then I'm going to make a bow. So for this bow, I'm going to be um, using a couple different ribbons. You can use whatever ribbons you want and we're just going to make like a rag bow. So for this, you're going to cut your bow to whatever length. I like to lay it down on top of my sign to kind of see what length or, or size works best. And you're just going to cut strips. So for every part of the bow, every layer of the bow, you need two strips. So I'm going to cut my strips and then I like to add, you know, cut out the little triangle at the end just to give it a little detail, a little pop. Um, so I'm going to cut those and I'm going to cut them at different lengths so that as it comes to forward, they're getting shorter. So again, pick whatever ribbons you want. I'm going to use multicolors and textures of ribbon. I just think that looks better. Um, it gives it a little dimension and just makes things pop a little bit more. So I'm going to use some that have like a shimmery gold, the burlap, just to keep it classic and kind of not super rustic, but you know what I mean? More neutral, more like outdoorsy earthy and then a pop of white shimmer as well so once you've got all of your layers done you're going to start with your longest ones you're going to crisscross them that's one layer so one two you make an x with your next layer make an x your next layer make an x and you're going to do this until you get to your top layer however big or however many layers you want to do just know that the more layers you do in the thicker your ribbon it might be harder to cinch um, and then you're just going to take some floral wire, some string, a zip tie, kind of whatever you have on hand. You're going to cinch it in the middle. Sometimes you have to kind of like crinkle it up, um, do whatever you got to do to get that tied around the middle. And once you get that secured, then you can fluff it out and move things around to um, form that bow, bow. Sorry. And I didn't mention I like to use wired ribbon. That way you can actually move it to where it needs to go and it'll stay and it'll form a lot better if you're not using wired ribbon it's just going to flop wherever it wants to and that's going to be very frustrating so once the bow is made i just cinched it down however i wanted to i used some floral some floral wire and then i covered that floral wire up with some white twine so once i got that done i put that bow in place and then i stapled it down through um, i just basically pulled up the top layers of the bow and stapled down those bottom layers of the bow so that the staples are through the bow and it's not going to fall pretty sure i did this off camera because i was trying to make sure it stayed in place and with my ring light hitting me in the face while i'm trying to look over it's too much so i'd rather it look good and you not see it on camera because sometimes the end product is way more important than getting the right shot. So I just stapled that down. And then from there, I just played filler. So I had extra of my um, lamb's ear laying off to the side. And I just put the extra leaves in where it needed to fill up and kind of um, move things around to make sure it looked the way it needed to. And I just made sure everything was stapled in and hammered down nice and secure. And that's all we did for this sign. I know it's a simple project, especially coming back in the new year, but I am so happy that you are here with me. I'm going to be working on some content for you um, right now. I'm hoping my next video for you is me reorganizing this craft room. It's in the mix right now. I'm working hard on it. I'm sorry I disappeared for a while. Life's been a little bit hard. Um, and then the holidays on top of that. So we are going to do it. Um, we did hit 5,000 subscribers and I am extremely not emotional <clears throat> i'm extremely grateful and if you're new here and want to subscribe and join us we would love to have you if you enjoyed this content or are happy to be <laughs> to be back in the new year give me a thumbs up um let me know what you think about this sign in the comments below i'm going to take you guys in for a closer look and i'll see you next time